Hi, welcome to Detours, Understanding Acquired Brain Injury. Um, I want this video be a little shorter, but it is something that's kind of in the news and kind of pertinent. Um, this video is about um, what's referred to in neurology circles as posturing. Um, about a month ago, a little more than that now, um, we saw Tua. Um, Tua? I'm not sure I pronounced his name right, but we see this over and over um, in football and in other sports. But you can see this in other situations um, when an athlete oftentimes, but it applies in car accidents and maybe, uh, you know, with other circumstances. Um, they described him as having um, the, taking the, the fencer's pose when he took a second hit to the head just a couple days after he was on the football field. Uh, the Dolphins player. Um, the reason I want to bring this up is because uh, posturing is a response to traumatic brain injury, um, severe, a serious brain injury. Um, now, what we saw with the, the, the fencing response is not technically posturing, even though you've heard a couple of news folks talk about it that way. It is a response to an electrochemical disruption in the midbrain. So we're talking deeper, um, and oftentimes you'll see it, though, a person will either extend their arms like this, or they'll do this, kind of the on guard kind of thing, which is why it's called the fencing response. Um, but it indicates that there is brief electrochemical discharge in the brain and midbrain, and that it is, well, it's a distress. Um, off, you'll see this before seizures sometimes, too or the arms are extended. Um, and it just indicates that there's a disruption. But posturing is a little different. There are two types you look for, and they're mentioned in the Glasgow Coma Scale. Decorticate and decerebrate. Decorticate is a, it has to do with an actual neural disruption. Um, whether it's temporary or permanent. It's not an electrochemical response. It's more damage to nerves. It is to tracts, white matter tracts, that communicate between the cerebrum and down to the body. Here is an example of what decorticate looks like. It's serious, but it's not as serious as decerebra, but it is a warning that there is damage, and it is usually associated with a severe traumatic brain injury, although you can see it in some moderate. The arms are typically flexed inward, and you'll often see clenched fists. And some people remain stuck that way, even if they wake up, their, their fists will remain clenched inward. And it takes PT and sometimes surgery to correct that. But um, you will see that in, um, when, in lower GCS scores, when they talk about motor response of a four, um, You'll see that, um, decorticate posturing. Um, um, no, correction, three. I apologize, three. I'm trying to do this out of my head. Three, um, they'll describe decorticate posturing, a GCS motor response of three. Um, two is decerebrate. Decerebrate is cut much deeper. It's damaged down into the brainstem, uh, the ascending reticular activating system down into the brainstem. And uh, that's serious because obviously that area, the uh, RIS and the deeper brain areas, that's below the pons. Pons is, means bridge and that connects higher, the midbrain diencephalon cortex to basic vegetative functions as they call them, breathing. And you know, that you see the arms flexed outward and the feet point outward. That's a two on the GCS. That is serious stuff because Usually, not always, but usually if you're talking about decerebrate posturing, most of those folks die. Not all, but most. And um, there are those who survive, but they're incredibly impaired, those that do make it. But I did want to differentiate between the two, and here's an example of decerebrate posturing. Okay. Um, serious stuff. Okay, I just wanted to emphasize this. Okay, um, just so you know, because again, this is stuff we talk about when we talk about 
All right. So um, if you have any questions, anything to post below, we'll talk about GCS, posturing, anything you saw, number of athletes and tragedy of, of, of professional sports not dealing with these kind of issues. Um, thanks and hope you have a good day. Um, please click like, subscribe, share this. You know where the button is and please comment. Um, if you have any experience, if you or a loved one or anyone else, uh, you know, with GCS and med posturing, I was fortunate that I did not, but you know, it, it, there are many who survived who did. Um, but it's always a bad sign. It's always a bad sign and, and recognize it if you see it in the field. Um, the fencing a response and it's a response not posturing know the difference but it is a warning of a serious problem but posturing is far more ominous okay just remember bye hope you have a good day